Wait. Mm -hmm. I'm... I'm ready now. Spots off. Since the airing of the first episode of Miraculous Ladybug, we've known the most important rule is to never reveal each other's secret identity. With Gabriel wanting to steal their Miraculouses and growing in power with every season, Ladybug has been strict with one rule Master Fu asked them to follow as the Guardian of the Miraculouses. The only thing stopping Ladybug from breaking that rule now is herself, and in today's video we're going to give 5 reasons why she should do so. Why wasn't Alia, I mean Rena Rouge here today? Oh, uh, because we needed you and... Only you, and you rocked it. Way to go. Number one, having each other's backs. We know every hero Ladybug entrusts with the Miraculous does their job with integrity and agrees to use their powers only for good and to help those in need. Sometimes those in need not only apply to the citizens akumatized by Monarch, but also the other heroes Ladybug calls on. Teamwork is something we've witnessed countless times throughout the show, with Ladybug and Cadoir making a perfect duo, and also the heroes they gather along the way. However, there are many times when their teamwork isn't enough. In Gang of Secrets, when Marinette finally decides to tell Alia that she is Ladybug, she feels better no longer having to lie to her best friend. Later in Rocketeer, when Alia changes her name to Rena Furtive, she decides to help only in the background, and because of this, assists Ladybug more than she could before. We see her friend help Marinette turn into Ladybug many times after this, protecting her identity even more than before. With their relationship as heroes and friends benefiting from their secrets now revealed, we can only assume the same thing would happen if the other heroes did the same. With their friends all knowing their identities, they could better help each other stay safe and help in ways they were not able to before. As their teamwork increases and their strategy benefits as well, defeating their foes would become much easier. Marinette, I'm your very best friend. And I... am Ladybug. Number 2 calling on each other in times of need. We know that every Miraculous comes with its own set of powers, with none of them overlapping each other. Each power the Kwamis possess is particularly specific to each, making each one of them valuable in a battle for different reasons. Marinette has become good at deciding which Miraculous suits every situation, and how they will be able to help defeat the Akumatized villain. However, as we see her hand each holder their Miraculous to keep at the end of recreation, this now means it will no longer be up to her to decide who helps and when. When Ladybug knows everyone's true identities except Cat Noir, the same does not apply to the rest of the heroes. They continue to keep their identities a secret, even from people closest to them. But if they were all allowed to know each other's true identities, it would make fighting as a team quicker and more cohesive. As shown in the series more than once, Cat Noir feels helpless when Ladybug gets captured, which is because he's not allowed to know their true identities. If they were all allowed to be honest with one another, it wouldn't only fall upon Ladybug to call for backup. If the other heroes needed to find their teammates quickly, knowing who the person was behind the mask would make locating each other much quicker, which would also prevent the villain from escaping or being able to terrorize more civilians. Pound it. Close it. Well, see you next time, m'lady. Number 3. No Longer Needing to Lie more than once, we have seen how lying to each other has gotten Marinette and her friends into trouble. In Rocketeer, when Alia has to lie to Nino about becoming Rena Furtive, he thinks she's falling in love with Cat Noir instead of him, and at the end of the episode, ends up getting akumatized into the Rocketeer. Everything that happened could have been avoided if Alia had just been able to be honest with Nino instead of keeping secrets from him. And that is the reason she does end up coming clean when he casts out the Akuma. Of course, there are many other times we see lies result in terrible outcomes throughout the show, from causing their friends to become akumatized to the immense stress put on Marinette as the new guardian. With it being her job to watch every Kwame and keep them safe, lying becomes something she has to do regularly to her parents and most of her friends. The lies throughout the show makes everything much more difficult for Marinette. Without any lies between them, the characters we're so familiar with could be even closer and even better heroes. Complete honesty between them all could fix relationships and keep more people from getting akumatized. One of the characters we see get akumatized more in Season 5 is Chloe, and every time, she chooses for it to happen. Siding with Gabriel was something she decided to do only after Ladybug had lied to her many times. If there had been no secrets, there's a chance she wouldn't have chosen the side of the villains and would become another ally to Ladybug and the rest of the heroes. Okay, I'm no longer Rena Rouge and I never will be. Ladybug won't give me a miraculous ever again, she thinks it's become too dangerous. Number 4. Making Room for More Plot As a reoccurring issue in the show, keeping each other's secret identities from each other causes countless problems between Cat Noir and Ladybug. Many episodes revolve only around them struggling to work together while not knowing who each other is. We see this in Koroniko, when Adrian gives up his miraculous because he feels like Ladybug doesn't need him, and doesn't understand why he can't also know the true identities of the other holders. Not only would this help Ladybug do her job, but it would also make a lot more room for plot-driven episodes. 
With so many episodes revolving around their secret identities and trying to keep them away from their friends or parents, if the other holders knew who everyone was, it would leave more screen time for episodes furthering the story. All of this would not only make each episode more entertaining, but it would also make defeating villains less repetitive. As mentioned, the truth about their identities would make defeating their villains much faster, since working as a team would be easier than it ever had been before. With fewer people being akumatized and less time focused on their secret identities, we could find out more about each character's life or how being a hero changes things about them that we have yet to get the chance to see much of in the show. I just can't do this anymore. I give up on everything, even you. You can't do that! Number 5. No More Relationship Problems from the first season to the latest season of Miraculous, it hasn't been difficult to notice the romantic subplot in every episode. We see Marinette struggle to tell Adrian her feelings for many seasons, but when she is behind the mask, she has no problems talking to Cat Noir, who we know to be Adrian. If they were to reveal themselves to each other, it could take away from their time spent trying to tell one another their feelings and allow them to finally be happy together. In Transmission, the Kwamis decide to take back their Miraculouses so their holders can finally be happy with each other. They do this because without knowing who each other is, Marinette feels like she can't be with Cat Noir or Adrian and because of this, would remain alone forever. With her happiness as well as the protection of the citizens of Paris being at stake, Tiki observes her holder's inner turmoil and ends up relinquishing her as her holder. If Adrian and Marinette were allowed to be honest with each other, they would have never needed to give up their Miraculouses to be happy. Knowing this would have saved them both from choosing between their real lives or their duties as holders, and it also would have allowed the two to get together much sooner than they had. With their secrets behind them, Adrian and Marinette could have worked together as heroes while also having time for their relationship, which would not only have made their relationship much more healthy, but also helped the rest of the Miraculous holders. Nothing ever works out for me. Adrian never even started. Luca couldn't work out. Cat Noir didn't even get off the ground. Every superhero has a secret identity, hiding behind their masks to keep the people closest to them safe. But maybe if they were able to break this one rule, their problems could finally be solved. As we await season six, we can only hope every holder will come together as a team again. And with Monarch defeated, maybe they can finally be completely honest with each other and finally be happy. If they were to throw away their masks in the next season, it could change everything we know about the show now and make the fans even more excited for the reality of every single episode. Sugar Cube, having to force them to choose between love and their mission is just awful. Maybe Master Fu was wrong to choose them. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications to stay updated on our uploads. Listen, I have Ladybug believing that I've found a perfect new holder for Cat Noir, and this new holder is you.